So I had some fun yesterday. It's like how many things can go wrong in what, like a, an hour period of time. Uh, nothing recorded because I was fuming and laughing all the time. So first of all, driving and I can hear a beeping and I'm thinking, I don't know what I've got in the back of the van that beeps, but obviously driving, so I check it when I stop. So I stopped, spun my seats round, back at the unit, took my shoes off, thought I'll come in and have a look and see what, what's going on. Check the fridge, fridge isn't beeping, the Lexus fine, you know, power banks, no, nothing, everything that might, might be beeping is not beeping. And then I feel that my foot's damp and I'm like, oh my God, what the hell? What, where is water coming from near the fridge? And then I remembered I'd left one of my bags of water just in the back, meaning to put it in a container. But I didn't because, you know, why would you? So I pulled the bag out through the curtain at the back and it's got a vacuum in it. So obviously there's less in there than there was before. So pull the fridge out all under the fridge, all under the back and everything. Absolutely soaking wet through. So out comes the kitchen towel, mop all of that up, make sure that the fridge is okay and everything's out of the way. Take up all the thingy tiles in the back to clean around them. Get all that done. Come sit down again. Beep, beep. And I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't find out what was beeping. So I remembered then I'd put the new sensors or my new sensors. We had them in the motorhome for temperature control and water sensor in the motorhome. So I'm like, I'll have them. Thanks very much. Put them in the water container underneath the sink. So open the door, pull that out, and it's got water dripping on it. So I'm like, oh, for God's sake. So everything comes out. It's got all my cleaning products in there. Pull out the water container again. Check around all of that. Seems that I'd not closed the tap off properly when, because uh, there's the little tap I take off to put water in the tank. And I'd not taken, I'd not closed that properly. So as I'm sloshing around corners, there's just a little bit of water that's coming out. Thankfully, not too much, but enough for it to cause a mess. So obviously cleaned all that up again, made sure the tap was shut. I've stuffed a load of kitchen towel in there now so that it won't happen again. Clean the water sensor off, thinking to myself, right, you know what? I'm just going to empty my toilet and then I'm going to go to bed because I'm knackered and it's night time and what have you. So take the wee container out of my toilet, go into the unit, empty it, put the lid back on again to walk back through again. Think, fine, okay. As I walk back into the van, I hear beep, beep. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake, what is it? So <laughs> quickly put the toilet back together again, go and have another look. And I'd put the water sensor on a wet piece of kitchen towel because I'm so clever like that. So I'm like, thank God for that, it's nothing serious. Take the kitchen towel out, double check, put the water sensor back in again. I think, right, that's it, I am done. So wash, ready for bed, go to the toilet. So as, <laughs> as I'm closing the lid on my toilet, I can see, too much info I know, that the wee hadn't gone down into the toilet and all it is, is a little hole that goes into the wee container. And then I think... I'd forgotten to take the screw cap off because of the beeping when I came in the van. So uh, it's all just sat there. I mean, it's meant it fits because you can you can cover it up when you're driving. Thankfully, that toilet is self-contained, can, so there's no gaps in it. There's nothing that leaks. But, oh, my goodness, the wee everywhere, everywhere. So I'm ready for bed already so I can't just go and start putting things outside so more kitchen towel whole roll of kitchen towel yesterday to go and and clean all of that up and uh yeah I, I've had to thankfully I make my own cleaning products because I had to stop midway and make more to make sure everything was clean so yeah I mean thankfully nothing broken on that one nothing broken anywhere really just lots and lots and lots of mopping up and cleaning to do but my god some days some days I feel like I shouldn't be let out. Some days I feel like I should be supervised. I still can't believe I am an unsupervised adult most of the time. But yeah, it's like calamity Mandy strikes again. What a blimmin' mess. Morning. It is 5.31am. <laughs> and we're off to a car boot sale. So our vans are all packed up. And I say Vans because Mevy's here and he's having a sort out as well. 
and um, he has given me, we've been sorting through each other's things, and as we've been sorting through each other's things, he's been going, do you want this? Oh yeah, that's really good, do you want this? So I now have a book of Philip Larkin's poems, because I love Philip Larkin, one of his favourites, everybody knows, so I need to know all the ones that everybody doesn't. So yes, let's go to a cab out sale. Morning. Come on, hurry up then. Let's go. Good car boot sale. Good car boot sale. Let's get in. Oh, he's left all the stuff everywhere. Excellent recording. Edit it out, man. So look at the look at the sunlight. Look at it. Oh yeah, it's perfect light. Sunrise is beautiful. Not seen one of those for a while. So yes, we are off to what is a very big and popular car boot sale it seems we hope so yeah we really hope so John has done really really well with his game of Jenga to get all of the stuff in the back here so it's difficult to decide I think what to take um, and what will sell and I think we've always been surprised at what does sell whenever we've been to any so you'll soon find out Well, there we go, all set up and ready to go at North Cave car boot sale and tabletop sale. However, I have to show you this. This has made me laugh. And as you can possibly imagine, it's something fit for Mandy. You know, we all have van conversions and stuff. Just gonna say, do you mind if I record your thing, your van? Just wait until I get out of No worries. <laughs> Right, smashing. <laughs> Look at this. Emergency first aid. That is the best thing I have ever seen. Is that the coffee medic? <laughs> the coffee medic. And it's, in a, and then it's in an old ambulance. I mean, how many people live in them? But instead, she's doing community service of first aid. Best thing ever. Well, that's us done. Um, I could have probably recorded a lot more, but I didn't. It was very busy and also very not busy at times. So it's uh, it's just been a, a constant thing of someone buy something, you move something else to put it in that place. Did you have fun? Um, it was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> You're not a big car boot sale fan, are you? No, I think uh, most of the day was made interesting, more interesting by Mevy though. <laughs> I said before when he was... Um, when he was doing his thing and honestly giving his giving away his stuff for free was ridiculously entertaining wasn't it so much so that we gave him stuff that wasn't really selling well and um, to put down so that he could then try and get people to take it for free yeah he was just like free all the best stuff's gone all i've got left is the crap <laughs> it's the end of the day and i'm like maybe it's 10 o'clock <laughs> Oh, incredibly entertaining, as always with Mevy. So, yeah, we're on our way back. I've got a slightly sun or wind burnt face. Um, and uh, we've just got to go back because we've got some people coming around to pick up some bits and bats from the unit today. And then go for a sleep because I set my alarm clock for half past four just to make sure we had a cup of coffee before oh, John came knocking at my no door. No sleep for you today. Why no sleep? Um, because we've got... Um... Um, some of those things to fix on your van so that uh, off switch for your CCTV, the front camera, um, and the Lano guard as well. No nap for Mandy. Uh -huh. Mandy gone, be cranky. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> he doesn't know it, he doesn't know me in it though. <laughs> You'll find out later. Well, it's a good job I don't listen to John that often, isn't it? Nap time. <laughs> So, John, bless him, that's not John, that's Mevy. There's John. Hello. <laughs> we are all recovering from a five o'clock in the morning get up yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So we're all tired and have to work. And where have you got your hat like that? I feel like a knob. I know, but I'm not married to you, so I, can't, I can get away with saying those kind of things. It's, 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 it's never stopped you before. You know, maybe. You, you're just acting up for the camera. Yeah. Apparently, I'm allowed this on, on my channel, so I've said to it before anyway. Mm. And John has just been so wonderful, which is my whole point for this video. Before you slate him. Before I started calling him a knob, you know, was that he's just fed us all. He's just made 
ham and cheese toasties on repeat. So he's mm. just been stood there for ages making tons and tons of ham and cheese toasties. Yeah. Mm. Because we all had a non-beer hangover. Yes. I'm taking a doggy bag away. <laughs> so Mev's, Mev's got the leftovers. But yeah, we are um, yeah, all suffering from the, the tiredness. Yes. And having to wake up and have a very busy day for all of us today. It's been a very busy work day, isn't it? Yeah. Is, I, I get up at half six most mornings. Yeah. So so why, why, is it, why is five o'clock any different? Yeah. It kind of is, though, isn't it? It is. It's broken your uh, routine, then, though, It's different, it? different. Yeah. Whereas um, I got in bed last night and uh, it was like nine o'clock. I fell asleep straight away, left my van unlocked, left my window blind down, didn't get ready for bed. So it was, uh, I don't know. Um, what time did you text me? Well, it was half, half, it was half, half past ten. ten when I walked past your van and saw, and the, saw that the window was and down. And shone my light inside and saw you were sleeping in bed, so I texted you. I didn't want to wake you up. So you're dogging? No. <laughs> with my wife <laughs> <laughs> dogging with his wife what's she doing I don't know sleeping apparently <laughs> she was yeah <laughs> oh, lady so yeah I had 11 hours and 7 minutes sleep last night and I still mm. feel rough this morning but yeah but I feel better now that's some food excellent ta thank you mm. Yeah, just waiting for you to call me more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go back to our conversation about how the Simpsons predict the future oh yeah mm. Mm. important stuff important yeah Make your predictions in the comments section down below. Yeah, which one do you think is the best Simpsons prediction so far? And what do you think they're going to do next? So while you get to see my new croc lights, I'm going to leave the video here. We've made over 300 quid on that car boot sale, so it was well worth it for the day, even though we're all still knackered. But for now, take care, guys, and I will catch you all on the next video. Bye.